In section 1.1.6, we'll be doing geometry using vectors. Let's start with a definition. A quadrilateral ABCD is called a parallelogram if its opposite sides are parallel and have the same length. Now, parallel with the same length, those are things that work well with vectors, so let's translate that into vector notation. So if I look at this quadrilateral, I have two opposite sides. I have AB, and let's look at this vector AB, and I have DC. So let's look at that vector DC. If I want this to be a parallelogram, I want AB and DC to have the same length and same and be parallel, that means AB equals DC. Similarly, for the other two sides, if I look at BC and I look at AD, BC and AD, if I want this to be a parallelogram, need to have the same length and the same direction because they're parallel, so AD should be equal to BC. All right, let's try that. Um, in example 1.1.12, um, I have I've given one, two, three, four vertices, P, Q, R, and S, and I want to show that they form a parallelogram. Now, I'm not really given a picture, so I don't know how to draw them yet, so I'll start with the algebra. I'm going to look at one side and see what the vector is. Uh, for PQ. I'm assuming it's one side, but it might not be. So PQ from 1 to 6, the delta X is 5. From 2 to 4, the delta X, Y is 2. So PQ is 5, 2. If that were to be a side, um, its opposite side would be RS or SR. So let's try RS and see how it relates to 5, 2. Now from R to S, I get three. And from R to S, from five to one, I get minus four. These are not the same at all. Like they have nothing in common. They're in different directions. So if this is a parallelogram, these are not sides of it. So let's try a different combination. So if PQ is not a side, maybe PR is. So let's try PR. So PR, I go from 1 to 2, so the delta X is 1. And from 2 to 5, the delta Y is 3. And if PR is one side, then the opposite would be QS or SQ. Um, Q to S, 6 to 5 is minus 1. 5 to 1 is minus 4. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I used the five here, but it's the four. All right, four to one is minus three. All right, all right, good, good. If you had gotten what I got, it would not have been a parallelogram, but these two, although they're not equal, they're opposite. So that means that PR is not equal to QS, it's equal to SQ, and that's fine. So if I were to draw my parallelogram, I'd have PR as one of the sides. And the other side that's parallel to it, I'd have to put S on here and Q here. So let's double check that the second pair of sides work as well. So let's see what PS gives. So P to S, 1 to 5 is 4, 2 to 1 is minus 1. So that's PS. And then if I look, well, let me look at this picture. And PS should be the same as RQ, according to our picture. So from R to Q, I get uh, 2 to 6, I get 4. 5 to 4, I get minus 1. Perfect. And so these two are equal. This is what my parallelogram look like. This is how the vertices are placed. All right, now that I know what the parallelogram look like, and I know that this side here is four, 
minus 1. Let me put arrows so that we know uh, what we're talking about. And this side, PR, is 1, 3. All right, now I want to find the length of its diagonals. I could do this only from the vectors, but here I have a little advantage. I know what it looks like. I know it looks like this, like this. Let's put it like that. Just a bit more. All right, so I know this is P. I know this is Q. I know this is R, sorry, P, R, Q, S. And so from this picture, I know what the diagonals are. The diagonals are PQ and they're, let's go RS. So the first diagonal, I'll put this one first. There's no real order here. So D1 is RS and we found RS, that's three minus 4. So the length of this diagonal is square root of 3 squared plus minus 4 squared. That's 9 plus 16. That's root of 25. And we just land on a whole number. Now d2, I'm going to make it p to q. P to Q, we've also found to be 5, 2, right over here. And so the length of that second diagonal is square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared. That's square root of 25 plus 4. This doesn't simplify as nicely, but we have both lengths. So the lengths of the diagonals are 5 and root of 29. And notice that here, that first couple of um, vectors that weren't equal, that's because they were not sides, they were the diagonals of the parallelogram, and those don't need to be parallel, have the same length.